Our church is a little bit unique in the fact that we have both a church building and a gym building. It was built in probably around 1970-ish and there somewhere. The actual church members of our church put the entire church together. They stained the wood, they put the pews in, they laid the carpet down, they did every single thing that they could do. And that is their sanctuary. But nowadays we also worship here in this gym building, which is what a lot of churches and a lot of church plants are doing. Now, does that make it wrong? No. Does it make it wrong as to how they praise? No, it doesn't. But what this psalm is talking about as we go through this week is it's talking about praising God in His sanctuary. And where it starts for us when it comes to praising the Lord is do we take the time each week to spend time with Him at a sanctuary? To spend time with Him at a place that we can believe and a place that we belong. What I have found over time is that the first area that they tend to pull back on is their time in the sanctuary is their time with the Lord, is their time recognizing God and praising Him. Ask yourself this, is that you? I know that's a tough question and really not something that we want to answer, but when it gets warm out, do we find extra time to sleep in on Sunday? Then we go through struggles, we go through pain, we go through heartache, and we go, what is it that I need to do? Oh, that's right, I need to get back in church. I need to get to a place where I'm praising the Lord in His sanctuary. This is not an afterthought. This is not a spare time thing. It is not a part time thing. Praising the Lord starts in His sanctuary. So if you're not doing that each week, spend some time and find a place to do so. A place that you can believe, a place that you can belong, a place that shares God's word with you and with others.